Hello and a very warm welcome. Day two of testing and we're going to react. And once again, a circus act by Formula One as once again they're caught with their trousers around their ankles. A disgrace once again. An embarrassing day for F1. And a comedy show occurs. Once again, we have problems with the track. Seen it in Las Vegas. Surely it's not going to happen again. Surely it's not going to happen to the same team. Oh, it did. And Bahrain. Basically, turn 11, the roll running wide, that's going to be an issue. And track limits will have to occur on race day. Well, it's a disgrace and a comedy act once again by Formula One. It's a shocking look for the sport. We had about two hours of running and then we have this track issue. Charles Leclerc picked up damage. Once again, a Ferrari damaged by a track that's incompetent. Lewis Hamilton ran over it. Charles Leclerc ran over it. Ferrari had to change the floor. It's not good enough by Formula One. Who's checking these tracks before testing? Because they should be sacked on the spot. Because they're clearly not doing their job properly. So yeah, that will be the main headline of today. Once again, F1 looking like a shit show. Um, and testing's irrelevant because that's going to gain all the headlines. Leclerc was fastest in the morning session. The morning session had to be cut short to fix the track. And it's um, it's not fair on the morning drivers because the late session drivers have got five hours. So everyone who was running in the morning, they've not been able to do their proper run because of a track limit, a track issue. So it's not good enough and not fair on the likes, anyone who went in the morning, the likes of Yuki Tsunoda, Guang Yu Zhou, Alonso, Piastri. They've all been shafted due to the track being damaged and it's not good enough not good enough whatsoever uh yeah leclerc first out after the red flag Sainz went fastest on the softs and remained fastest and the cars are so reliable these days they don't break down and then we had testing procedures right at the end testing safety car red flags and virtual safety car um yeah Ferrari suffer damage due to a track issue. It's it's embarrassing. Poor luck for Formula One again. Again. It's not the first time. Won't be the last time. Something needs to be done and addressed. Limited testing as it is. And we're pissing around for an hour fixing the track. I mean, honestly. I mean, this track is well established. You expect it at a new track like Las Vegas. This track's been on 20 years and we're having issues. It's it's not good enough. Let's run down the order. Carlos Sainz fastest. 84 laps. Obviously he was on the softs. So you would expect him to be fastest. Sergio Perez second. 129 laps. He's done all day. Uh, yeah. 7 temps off. P3. Lewis. He was in all day. Did 123 laps. Fourth. Lando Norris. 52 laps. Now, not a great day for McLaren. They didn't get that much laps in compared to the other teams. Um, yeah, not good. And he had a, he was sat in the garage for quite a while. I didn't think he was going to get back out at one point. Fifth, Daniel Ricciardo, 88 laps. He's had a solid two days. But yeah, obviously he's got a lot more running than his teammate. Six, Charles Leclerc, uh, 54 laps. Uh, seven Lance Stroll, 96 laps. I mean, it's not fair. Fernando Alonso sat on 31 because of a track issue. And his teammates got 96 laps in. The morning guys who ran have been shafted. Because they've got two and a half hours. Where the later session has got double the amount of time. Because it was five hours. Eighth, Ocon, 78 laps. Ninth, Bottas. 97 laps. Piastri in 10th, 35 laps. Now we get into the morning session, guys, and you can see they've been shafted. 35 laps, Oscar Piastri. 11th, Logan Sargent was in all day, 117 laps. Much better day for Williams. 12th, Alonso, 31 laps. Another guy hampered in the morning. Joe, 13th, 38 laps. Another guy hampered. 
14th, Gasly, another guy hampered, 33 laps. Then comes Kevin Magnussen with 93. Hulkenberg, 16th, 31 laps. So all these guys in the morning have been shafted through no fault of their own due to F1's incompetence again. 17th and last, Yuki Tsunoda, 40 laps. Again, he is a morning guy and yeah, it's just not fair. Really is not fair. Um, yeah, something needs to be done. For really, the morning guys should be getting an extra two hours of testing, really, to make up for the time they've lost. That would be a suitable... But, yeah, day one was about Red Bull, their performance. Williams having a poor day, but day two will all be about F1 looking like a shit show again. It's so infuriating. F1... The pinnacle of motorsport, but it's so amateurish at times. It's a disgrace. Once again, track issues in 2024. Wow. Join me tomorrow for the final day of pra uh, testing. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, we'll see some soft tyre runs tomorrow. And we'll see the pecking order. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully, a track that's adequate. And we can run round. That will be good. Adios.